Hey guys, just uh, getting ready to put the last coat of varnish on uh, my uh, canoe paddle that I just uh, carved a couple weeks ago here and just wanted to tell you guys about the experience. First time carving anything out of wood with success and something that's actually very useful here. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this here. And uh, basically I attended a um, canoe carving event at Lee Valley Tools. Now if you're into woodworking and from Canada, uh, you're probably aware of Lee Valley. They got really good catalogs for traditional old school uh, woodworking tools. If you're from the States and you're into woodworking, haven't heard of them, they do have catalogs and they do have an American presence too. So I want to go and check that out. Anyway, they have a number of seminars. And uh, because of the Canada 150 uh, this year, with, and they had a number of uh, paddle making courses, and this was one of them. So the course started out really simple. All you really needed was a pencil and a couple of woodworking tools, such as a rasp, uh, a planer, a hand planer, and some of the other fancier tools that Lee Valley has. I'll put the link in the description of the item that kind of worked best for me for this when I was carving this. But basically, it's very simple. First, you had to choose a blank. So there was a number of uh, paddle styles. You had uh, the beaver tail, you had an otter tail, and then you had the voyager style, which was what I ended up uh, getting. So these are basically high shoulders and kind of more square compared to uh, the other two styles. But basically, once you chose uh, your blank and fit it to your size, your height, it's a couple tests there, basically all you had to do, the most of the work, was to uh, draw guidelines on the shaft and a couple areas where it was flaring out and from there it was very simple then you just start taking the various wood tools and you just start shaving it down shaving it down now for the uh the grip uh they had a, a number of finished paddles with different styles of grip so basically you just found the template that fit, fit good in your hand and then you just traced on top of it and start carving again so this was a, a six hour process of manual labor of just shaving down the wood and uh, I ended up choosing cherry wood or it's the one that chose me at first it wasn't quite as red as I thought it would but as I was putting down the varnish here it's starting to get a really nice uh, look to it really happy with it so the blade was actually the last thing I had to do basically I don't know if you can tell here but I had to taper it down a bit and you know, we can see it this way here but I had to basically do a V, I had to shave down and then once you got to a certain point you kind of had to, to round out so you had a little, little bit of a mound there. I had a lot of fun, it was $150 to, to get this done and you know I don't know how much uh, paddles are at the store, I'm sure you can get stuff that's a little bit cheaper but uh, and it's definitely not perfect once you start looking down on it but you know for something that uh, I made uh, I'm actually quite happy with it and uh, I'm going to definitely put this in the water. So basically three coats of varnish, of spar varnish, and to put it up on the wall, five coats. This is the fifth coat um, I'm kind of working on uh, to use in the water. Put down in the comments what you think. If Let me know if you've made a canoe paddle yourself or tried uh, making a laminate uh, paddle, which is one of the other courses that they offer. Uh, put down any uh, other comments what you think of this or if you've done other type of events. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next time.